Hi guys, um, I'm back, and uh, we are here with uh, the mighty quest for epic loot. Um, it is the, uh, as I'm recording this, it is the 24th of February, and that means that tomorrow um, the game will be going into open beta. So I might upload this and set the release for tomorrow morning. In fact, that's what I think I'll do. So, hello guys, this game has just gone into open beta. You can download it for free right now. Link is below the uh, video in the uh, description. Uh, I'm not exactly too happy with Ubisoft at the moment. The uh, last couple of uh, Mighty Quest for Epic Loot videos I've uploaded showed frustration where I could not um, could not play the game after they uh, released their open creation patch and uh, I sent a lot of tickets in did a lot of uh, problem determination and um, did everything they asked of me and they were two or three days between replies. I mean, I got everything back to them as soon as it uh, came to me, but uh, it took them two or three days to reply to each of my replies. And um, I basically showed them that the problem was at their end. Uh, one day I could play the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. They patched the game, uh, I download the new patch, and then all of a sudden I can't connect to their servers anymore. And I did a tracer and I showed them that the problem was at their end. Uh, that I was fine connecting until I got to their game server and it was the game server that would not let me connect to it. Um, however, they did uh, a lot of problem determination uh, by sending me canned answers. Try this, try that, try this, try that. and. Uh, uh, despite the fact I'd already done most of it on my own and had told them I had done it, I, I redid it. I uh, downloaded the uh, patch again, I downloaded the full game, not the patched game. I uninstalled, reinstalled, I uh, switched uh, my router settings, I did everything they asked me to do. I uh, sent them back reports and... Um, to cut a long story short, um, after about a week of uh, spending far, far too many hours trying to get this bloody game to work, um, I got another reply from them saying, Hey, we're closing your tickets. Glad to have solved your problem. See ya. P.S. If you're still having a problem, reopen the ticket. So, uh... I wasn't too happy with Ubisoft. Uh, however, I noticed the same day as I got that response that there was another new patch. And seeing as one patch wrecked the game, maybe, maybe the new patch fixed the game. So, um, uninstalled uh, the game for about the fifth or sixth time, reinstalled it with the new patch, and hey, guess what? I'm back in. It's working again. So, uh, I don't know whether they fixed anything at their end, but um, it's working, so credit where credit is due. And uh, that's just the first reason I'm not very happy with Ubisoft. Second reason I'm not very happy with Ubisoft at the moment is I spent money on this game. I um, really, really enjoyed this game. And uh, there were two characters in the closed beta, the Knight and the Archer. And if you put some money into the game, um, you got another character, another free character, which was the mage. Um, which is supposedly an exclusive skin or an exclusive uh, hero. But, um, yeah, apparently, um, again, because I'm not running a basic account, but apparently anyone can now play a mage. So having paid to unlock the mage... Um, anyone joining now can simply choose from three characters, not two, so I don't know why I spent money on the mage if they were just going to give it out for free. <clears throat> but, um, not to worry, there's a fourth hero coming called the Runaway, and uh, that fourth hero, um, yeah, 
Ubisoft want me to pay for the fourth hero, despite I already paid for the third hero, and they're now giving that one away for free. So uh, I'm not too happy over the fact that, uh, yeah, one character I thought was going to be exclusive isn't, and another character is now unplayable unless I give them yet more money. Um... Third reason I'm pretty unhappy with Ubisoft is the last patch, the open creation patch. I thought it was going to be fantastic. Some really, really good ideas. But the problem is that the ideas were implemented really, really badly and it has completely changed the game. Um, I've mentioned in my previous videos that I liked the defending aspect because I'm a Dungeon Keeper fan. I loved building up my castle and its defenses and watching other people fail when they tried to attack it. But uh, I'm not a fan of the attack portion of the game. Um, it, that's more Diablo-esque and I'm an old man. I don't have the twitchy reflexes anymore. But um, yeah, that uh, whole freedom to focus on one area of the game and ignore the other, which is what I was doing, is gone. So it's not a, a nice relaxing game for me anymore. Um, they've tied in attacking and defending together. So um, if my uh, hero level is not the same level as my castle, I get penalized. You lose XP and you lose uh, gold. Uh, also, in uh, order to validate your castle so that people can attack it, you have to attack it yourself. So what is the point of building up an amazing, incredible defense designed to kill everyone uh, who attacks you, if um, you have to beat it yourself? In other words, you have to prove that your defense is beatable before you can let anyone else into your castle. <laughs> it kind of defeats the whole purpose of building an undefeatable defense and working out what the best uh, combinations are between traps and monsters. So you have to make your castle beatable in order to validate it so that others can come and attack you. Um, yeah, so again it's forcing you into an attack role and my issue with this is what happens if you're not very good at attacking? You can be fantastic at defending, you can build up these amazing defenses, but if you're... If you're not a very good attacker, you're never going to be able to build a castle that is good. You'll basically have to build a castle that sucks just enough so you can beat it. Which means that anyone who is a better attacker than you will have no problems beating it. And I'm not happy with that at all. Um, there are so many issues. They've completely changed the game from the way it was originally designed. But hell, guys, it's a beat up. Um, at the moment, the state the game is in, I don't know if I'm going to be bringing you many more videos. Um, I haven't played it, but I've watched other people play it, and it looks as if it's turned from a game I enjoyed very much into a game I don't think I will be enjoying very much, and um, there is no point in playing it if I don't enjoy it. It's just not my type of game anymore. But having said that, it's a beat-up, so things change from day to day. So, for example, there was another patch last night. I have no idea what's in that patch. I don't know what's changed, but... Uh, hell, guys, uh, it's going to be going into open beta as you're watching this, so um, try it out yourselves. Opinions are like a-holes. Everyone's got one, and that's just my opinion. So, uh, here we go. Mighty Quest for Epic Loot, restarting. Episode 1. Um... Do I want to go with Archer? I went with Archer last time. We've got the Knight, and we've got the Mage. I've never played the Mage. Do I want to? I bought it. Spent real money on it. It's free now, but um, when I did buy it, I never actually played it. 
I think we're just gonna start with the knight. I've never played the knight either. And according to the forums, the knight is the weakest character to play. Now let's just go with the knight. Alright, here we go. The first hero is free. Adding more heroes later will come at a cost. What cost? Okay, let's just say yes. Oh, hello there, stranger. Welcome to Cornelius Richling's Premium Talent Management and Real Estate Emporium. I am Cornelius, owner, founder, chief officer, and sole employee. Let me guess. You've come to Opulentia in search of fame, fortune, respect, and recognition. Am I right? Uh, well, actually, I came looking for a good game. Your silence is all the answer I need, compadre. I'll be the brains, and you'll be the bra... Action hero! Okay. Oh, buddy, there's a few small formalities we have to get out of the way before we can turn you loose upon this kingdom. I'm referring, naturally, to the small issue of my one-time retainer mandatory signing fee opulence, welcome tax, and advance exceptional performance moments. I'd say the cost of the armor and weapons you're carrying should about do the trick. Don't worry, Pally. There's no better investment than one's own future. Now get out of there and show me what you can do. Okay, so pretty much this explains why you start the game with uh, nothing. He has taken it all. Alright, I'm naked. And I'm carrying a wooden sword, and I have a... Um, Nice username. I seem to have a I candle on my head for some reason. One. Okay, well we picked up some armor. That's alright. Should look good on my treasure pile. My, my, look at you. You handled that castle like a real professional castle handler. Now they have a word for hunks like you fierce. Simply fierce. Now, look, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're looking a little light in the equipment department. I'm gonna have to teach you how to dress yourself, aren't I? Okay, come outside with me. Check it out! Opulentia! If you stick around with me, all this could be yours. For now, though, let's focus on getting you dressed. Okay. So, not as if I haven't done this before. We'll open our inventory. And we've picked up some equipment. So, these two are identical. So, right-click to equip. And shift click to sell. No, it's not letting me sell it. This is much better. So, right click to equip. And bye bye wooden sword. We have, uh. Ooh, three and six. Well, this is obviously better. Okay. So, right, we've got our underwear, we've got a new axe, and we've got some shoulder pads. I've got a whole pile of stuff that has been left over from um, previous uh, the previous wipe. Okay, well, I have a spare ring here. I might as well equip that. And a costume so that I'm not naked anymore. What else do I have? I have a necklace that I can equip. And that's pretty much it. 
don't see everything. Any everything else is locked. Okay. All right. What's next? Looking good, hot stuff. Everybody All right. Beef up your skill set a little bit before we up the ante on your looting, though. But who can teach me such a skill? I hear you asking yourself in a desperate panic. Well, I'll tell you who. His name starts with a C and rhymes with Zornelius. Ah, uh, Cornelius. This skill is going to be so useful. You should be the one paying me. Right. You are the one paying me. Never mind. Hey. Did somebody say paying me? Okay, we're gonna equip a skill. We've got cleave, and we're gonna drag it down into the right mouse hey, button. You're looking ready for more I'm sitting. Come see me now. We have much to discuss. Now I've been shopping your name around town, calling in some favors, pulling some strings, and I have some amazing news. Pull off one more successful attack. And I just might be able to score you a castle of your very own. There's no need to thank me, really. Your eternal gratitude and contractually bound exclusivity are all the thanks I need. Ready to enter into the exciting world of prime real estate ownership? Get your butt out there. All right. So another attack. Hopefully we'll pick up some more armor. So I am naked. Even though it looks as if I've got a very nice outfit on. Let's do this thing. Dead end. I say I don't attack very much. Chickens. Ex chickens. There we go. That's a set of armor. Not very good armor, but it's armor. And apparently I've leveled up. So uh, auto-leveling is the other issue I have with the new game. Mode? Before, if you wanted your hero to, for example, stay at level 5, that's assuming I got to level 5, but I had no good gear. I would want to keep my character at level 5 so that I could uh, farm better gear before uh, moving up to level 6. But apparently now you auto-level, and... Uh, that means that you will out-level your gear very, very quickly and pretty much won't have time to uh, get better gear. Not sure I'm happy about that. So I've reached level 2. I've unlocked a new skill, so let's equip the new skill. You did it, buddy! Or should I say, you did it, homeowner? That's right. A promise from your man Cornelius is cash in the bag. I am holding in my hands the keys to your very own castle. Not enough of my chatter. I'm sure you're dying to break the place in. Let's take a look. So, I know I'm kind of being slightly negative in this video, but I do believe this game has a lot of potential. And even though... Welcome to our... I mean, your castle. This is it. Your fortress. Your home. Your ticket to immortality. So, uh, the game has a lot of potential, and it is a beta, so I just feel the last patch was a step back as opposed to uh, a step forward, but um, that's what betas are for, 
So I'm crossing my fingers that Ubisoft are going to get their act together, and um, I hope it gets closer to the type of game I was looking for when I first started playing it. But uh, we'll see. I'm willing to give it a shot. Your old buddy Cornelius didn't mess around and get you some fixer-upper, though. No, sirree. This deluxe starter property already comes with a ton of pre-installed equipment. Let's take the grand tour, shall we? This is your castle heart. It's really important. It's the source of your home's general airborneness, not to mention its main power supply. Upgrading the heart is the first step if you want to improve anything else, and also what makes your castle increase in level. So, that is one change that is good. I do like that change. So, your castle level increases with the level of the castle heart. Previously, if you'd been upgrading equipment or monsters, that would upgrade your castle level, and um, it just makes more sense this way. Here's your gold storage, a personal favorite. This is where you'll store all the shiny loot you collect. When you max out your storage capacity, you can upgrade it so it'll hold more. This is your life force storage, where you'll keep the juice you need to build things. It's upgradable too. Our next order of business is to make sure that the flow of gold into our... I mean into your pockets never dries up. And there's no better way than to make your own. Installing a gold mine is easy as can be. Plus, it looks cool. Just remember, you'll need to be extra careful to protect it. You wouldn't want an invader to come and steal our... I mean your hard-earned cash now, would you? So, uh, another change is the mines are now lootable. So, uh, in fact, in order to completely beat a castle, you have to raid and loot all the uh, enemy castle's mines. So, we got to uh, click the architect's office to open its menu. And we will construct, and we will get a gold mine, and we will place the gold mine. Can't place it in the corner. There we go. Great job! The money train has left the station. Hmm. I think I hear knocking at the front door. You should go and see who it is. Prepare your ear holes for the following message from my lord and master, the Lord of Doom, the King of Flood, the Right Honorable Count Snottingham. His snotuousness has heard of your recent endeavors and would like to offer a warning. Do not, under any circumstances, attempt to pillage his most impenetrable fortress. A hero as weak and pathetic as you will never be up to the task. Okay. I guess we're gonna raid him. Must really have gotten under his skin. And that's not a very pleasant place to be. We, I mean, you are not gonna take that, are you? Now, if we're gonna go to war against Nottingham, we really better prepare. Okay, install a blacksmith. Got our shortcuts. Blacksmith. Let's put it the blacksmith beside the architect's office. Install a potion brewery. And... We'll put that one down here. Actually, we'll just put it... No, we'll put everything we need to buy from down here. Alright. I will teach you how to cook a potion. Okay, how do you cook a potion? We go up to the potions and we cook. In other words, we buy. Perfect! Ever feel the urge to wear better gear? I'll show you how to do so. Okay. So, blacksmith might have better gear. So... Apparently the axe I picked up isn't that good. 
This uh, first sword gives me more health and more damage per second, but I lose the wide cleave. That's fine, I can do with that. You're ready! Will you have a moment? Join me on the castle's tower. I have something that I'd like to discuss. Okay, so I can't equip these till I have a level 3 knight. Can't craft them, and... Okay, there's nothing else I can get at level 2. That's fine. Can't close that. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, drag here to sell items. Well, let's see what we picked up. We've got 6 magical armor here, but it's the only other ring we have, so we'll equip it anyway. Um, these don't do anything, so we'll sell these, and get more gold. This we want, and this we want, okay, and that's worse, we'll sell that, we'll move the potions here, and we'll equip the uh, sword because it's better, and we will sell the uh, Tabor. Okay, so anything else at level 2 I can equip? Nope. Alright. Oh, I've got to click here. Alright. Before going after Snottingham, Attack a few weaker castles. Go get them once you're ready. Okay. Alright, so... Move around by dragging the mouse. And defeat Count Snottingham is the mission we've just been given. So, uh, there we go. Um, that is going to be the end of episode one of A New Beginning in the uh, Kingdom of Opalencia and the mighty quest for epic loot. And uh, what I think I'm just going to do in the next episode is run through all these uh, NPC castles and uh, gear up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.